Hello, welcome all. Greeting from Centrum Academy. So, welcome to the Conic section, session three. Those who have joined in the session just now, I would request you to type your in your names in the chat box so that I know who all are attending this session. So, guys, uh, in this session, we are going to resume from where we left off in the last class. We were doing conic sections and we were into the circles part. And we had already discussed a lot of concepts. So, today's session, I would be starting with the concept of chord bisected at a given point. So, the first concept that we're going to look into today is chord bisected at a given point. Chord bisected at a given point. Okay. So let's say uh, I have a circle. So let's say this is a circle. And I've been given a chord on this circle whose midpoint is known to me as x1, y1. Let's say the chord AB and there's a midpoint given to me P, which is x1, comma y1. Okay. Let the equation of the circle be x square plus y square equal to a square. So I'm considering the circle to be centered at the origin and having a radius of a. So this equation of the chord AB, equation of the chord AB would be given by the expression t equal to s1 t equal to s1. So you already know what is the expression t. So those who have forgotten about that, let me quickly recap. t is basically nothing but x x1 plus y y1 minus a square. This is called the expression t for this circle, right? If your circle changes to the general form, that is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0, in that case, it would become x x1, y y1, gx plus x1, fy plus y1, plus c, plus c, okay? And what is s1? s1 is nothing but when you substitute x1, y1 in place of x and y, this is going to be your s1. So guys, all of you quickly prove this, that the equation of this chord will be given by x x1 y plus y y1 minus a square is equal to x1 square plus y1 square minus a square. In other words, it will be x x1 plus y y1 equal to x1 square plus y1 square. Let's try proving this first. It's very, very simple. You just have to use your basic idea of forming the equation of a line when you know a point on it and when you know the slope of that line. So guys, uh, let me tell you, if you draw a, if you draw a perpendicular from the center on this chord, right, it's going to meet the chord at x1, y1. So this angle here would be 90 degree. Okay. So uh, we know the slope of OP. Slope of OP is going to be y1 by x1, right? So we also know the slope of AB. So AB slope would be minus x1 by y1, right? So once we know the slope and we know one of the points on AB, it's very easy to construct the equation of the line as y minus y1 is equal to minus x1 by y1, x minus x1. It gives you the equation as y y1 minus y1 square minus x x1 plus x1 square, which is nothing but x x1 plus y y1 is equal to x1 square plus y1 square. Right? So this is for a circle whose center is at origin. However, you can use the same formula. This formula can be used universally across all the types of circles. So if we're using for a general circle, in case of a general form of equation of a circle, it just becomes x x1 y y1 plus g x plus x1 plus f y plus y1 equal to 
equal to x1 square y1 square plus 2gx1 plus 2fy1, right? C and C will get cancelled off. Is that fine? So no question with respect to uh, the chord bisected at a given point. So let us quickly take a question on this so that you understand the concept well. So the question is, uh, find the equation of the find the equation of the chord. Find the equation of the chord of the circle x square plus y square minus 6x plus 10y minus 9 equal to 0, which is bisected at, which is bisected at, which is bisected at minus 2 comma 4, which is bisected at minus 2 comma 4. So please do this and type in your answer in the chat box. So all you need to do is just replace your x square with x x1. x This is your x1, this is your y1. x x1 make, becomes minus 2x. y y1 means 4y. Okay. And minus 6x could be written as minus 3x plus x1 okay 10y could be written as 5y plus y1 okay y plus y1 and this would be equal to x square which is equal to minus 2 square y square which is equal to 4 square minus 6x plus 10y and minus 9 minus 9 anyways gets cancelled from both the places so i'll not bother writing it so let's collate the terms uh, we'll have a minus 5x if i'm not wrong we'll have a 9y we'll have a 9y right and let's see the constants that come up uh, atmesh please check your working i think some somewhere some mistake has happened so work, uh, the constant terms would be 6 plus 20. And on this side, it will be 4 plus 16, which is 20. And 12 uh, plus 40. Right? So uh, 20 and 20 gets cancelled. So finally, your answer should be minus 5x plus 9y uh, minus 46. Minus 46 equal to 0. So this should be your answer. right all right so it was an easy question to start with let's move on to the next question on the same concept now this is a locus question find the locus of the middle points of chords middle points of chords of the circle x square plus y square is equal to a square which which subtends a right angle which subtends a right angle at the point c comma 0 at the point c comma 0 so find the locus of the middle points of the chords of the circle x square plus y square equal to a square which subtend a right angle at the point c comma 0. Any idea guys how to proceed with this? Hi Pushpinder. Alright guys so let's look into the situation now. So we have a circle. I'm really drawing a big circle so that all of you can see the points which I mark inside it. And uh, we have a chord like this. Okay, so let's say there's a chord like this. And at the same time, let me draw the uh, coordinate axis. Right now, uh, this is the midpoint 
h comma k whose locus we desire so we call it as h comma k okay so let me call this point as n let me call this as a let me call this as b and uh, there is a point c comma 0 somewhere over here okay so let's say i i point this as c comma 0 point okay let me call it by the name of p okay Now guys, a couple of things that we need to note over here is that when you drop a perpendicular from the center, right, it's going to hit the chord at H comma K. Okay. So this is going to be a 90 degree, no doubt about it. Okay. And secondly, the question also says that the chord will subtend a right angle at point P. Right. So if you connect these two, it's subtending a right angle at the point P. So this angle is also a right angle as per the, as per the question. Okay. Now, if it subtends a right angle, okay, uh, can we all say that a line connecting N to P? So let me draw, let me draw a line connecting N to P uh, with a pink color. Okay, so let's say N to P. So please don't get confused. Uh, this is your center O. Okay, this is point P, this is point A, and this is point B. Okay. Now, when you see uh, in this figure, you realize that angle A, P, O, sorry, A, P, B, angle A, P, B is a right angle, right? Yes or no? What does it mean? It means that you can actually draw a circle which passes through A, B and P and A, so you can actually draw a circle like this. Okay, so I'm not drawing the full circle so a circle can be drawn through a p b such that such that a b is the diameter of that circle because we know that diameter subtends a right angle at the vertex correct so you can always pass a circle so you can always construct a circle through through a p b such that a B is the diameter of the circle. Correct. If A B is the diameter. Okay. Now, can I say one thing that since N is the midpoint of A B, N is going to be the center of the circle. N will be the center of the circle. Because N is the midpoint of A B. Is the midpoint of a B right now if that is the case then a n would be equal to n B will be equal to n P because they will all be the radius of the circle so n P would be equal to n B is equal to n P right yes or no okay now focus on Focus on the triangle. Focus on the triangle ONB. Focus on the triangle ONB. In triangle ONB, right, guys, I can say that. Let me connect it by a straight line over here. In triangle ONB, I can say that. OB square will be equal to ON square will be plus plus NB square. Yes or no? Right? So, from these two set of information that we have, one is this and another is this, I think I should be able to find the locus of the point N. Okay? So, 
from the first equation i can say nb nb square will be equal to np square correct so from this relation i can say nb square is equal to np square and what is nb square we don't know right but can we find it from here so i can say nb square is equal to ob square minus on square right right so i can say nb square from equation number 2 is ob square minus on square so this i am replacing with ob square minus on square now ob square is nothing but the radius of the circle correct and on square will be nothing but h square plus k square right and np square will be nothing but h minus c whole square plus k square right and this is what i wanted i wanted to get a relationship between h k c and a right so now let's simplify this so we'll have a square is equal to let's expand this term h square minus 2 ch plus c square plus k square plus h square plus k square okay so if you simplify this further you will get a square minus c square is equal to 2 h square plus k square minus 2 ch okay now the obvious step is the step of generalization so let's generalize this and when you generalize this you get a square minus c square is twice of x square plus y square minus 2cx minus 2cx so this is going to be your desired locus of the midpoint of the chord ab so guys again i'll repeat the process uh, what i did was first of all i figured out from this figure itself that you can actually since it is subtending a right angle at p you can actually draw a circle with ab as the diameter and since n is the midpoint of ab um, an and nb become the radius and so will be np so they will be all equal that is your condition number 1 and then uh, we use pythagoras theorem on triangle onb that is ob square is equal to on square plus nb square now from the first condition i can write nb square is np square and nb square itself can be obtained as ob square minus on square and all these values that i have that is ob on np i can always write in terms of h k and c etc right any questions please ask me is it clear type c l r if it is clear to you if it is clear then i can move on to the next concept 